So when I was looking to buy my first property, my agent asked me to make a cash offer. I'm like, cash offer? I don't have all that money to make a cash offer. And she said, hold on. It's not that cash offer means you have to put all the money. And she explained me all the details. And then later on, I realized many people actually like me who are first time home buyers doesn't know what's the difference between cash offer and conditional offer. And also they don't know what are the consequences. You know, when you make a cash offer, you can get into huge trouble. So you need to know what are the consequences that can come up with when you're making cash offer. And you need to know when to use them. You know, some, especially in hot markets like in Ontario right now, in Toronto, Windsor, London, Kitchener, all these areas, a lot of properties are getting into bidding war and some people actually without knowingly they are making cash offer and getting into challenges. So that's why stay till end the end and understand the differences and use it for your advantage to get better price and terms when you're buying a property. Namaskar, Aditya Soma here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you've been enjoying my videos, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. So let's first talk about what's the conditional offer. And especially if you're a first time home buyer, it's very confusing terminology. So you gotta be really careful. Conditional offer has the name itself says conditions. So that means when you're making an offer on a property, you're putting some conditions so for example you can put a condition upon financing so what that means you will buy the property only if you get the financing and you, you might even use most of the times if it's you know doable you put conditional upon inspection so what that mean again you will buy the property after you inspect um, and once the inspection is you you're satisfied with that inspection then only your offer will become firm so what that form means is like that's when the deal is done like 100 percent the property is sold for you and seller cannot back out you cannot back out so one you both are on contract so the contract is formed like 100 percent done deal if one of them backs out then the other person can sue the other person for the damages because you both have bind it to a contract and if you're not following the terms and conditions according to the contract then that's when the litigation all these lawyers will involve and you gotta pay a lot of money for the lawyers and then you have to fight in the court and boom, so much headache so that's the thing that's a conditional means so what the heck it means by cash offer so of course it's a same thing you're making an offer but the big difference you're not putting any conditional clauses so you're not making any clauses in your offer saying that your offer is you only buy this property after you inspect or you only buy this property once your mortgage agent gives you a hundred percent approval saying that you got mortgage for 400,000 on this property. Now you're good to go. So that means you're taking risk. So hear this loud. You're taking risk by making cash offer. No matter what anyone say, you are 100% taking risk. But how to mitigate that risk? Because I know, you know, many people would argue with me, especially in hot markets like Windsor, London, Toronto, all these areas where bidding wars 10 20 offers in that case if you're making conditional offer then your chances of getting it is really low so those are the cases where now you have to think you have to take a step back start preparing for that offer date so now you're in this bidding war situation you have you know that there there are like multiple offers so how you go about this so always take a step back ask your agent anytime when you like a property 
ask your agent hey is there an offer date so generally the bidding wars happen like the the agents can sense if certain property will have offers or not how let's say i'm listing a property in uh, let's say south windsor in in windsor um in that neighborhood if i listed the property for 299 and i know for sure 80 percent of the properties sell for almost 400,000. that means i'm expecting to have bidding war on that property so now when you're looking at that property if your agent tells you that hey there is an offer date on so and so date so now you as a buyer what you need to do first ask your agent hey can we get a pre-inspection done on this property what's pre-inspection you can take the inspector before offer date and go inspect it so the biggest risk when you make an offer and you don't even inspect the property you don't know what's the structure look like you don't know what inside the walls you don't know what's the wiring look like you don't know what's the plumbing look like so you want to make sure how all these things are at least for your peace of mind to make sure there is no major issues in the house so for that you do inspection by a home inspector by a licensed professional home inspector so get that before offer date number one number two if you know for sure you're gonna make an offer on that particular property call your mortgage agent ask your agent to send an MLS copy the property details copy and send it to your mortgage agent say that hey I'm gonna buy this property tell me if you see any risk if I go with no conditions of course they cannot give you 100% answer but they can give you a 90 95% chances hey you look for me it everything looks cool and you ask your agent to give you comparables now you compare with the property sales in that area and your mortgage agent will tell you how solid your profile is of course even after you do these two things still there is a risk but again sometimes you gotta take a risk if you know for sure you can get the mortgage you gotta take it but you just need to be aware of it so that you know if if there is a shortage if you just if you're aware now you can bring an extra cash let's say the property is not appraised for the price you offered so if you're new to this terms let me try to explain very detailedly so the property just back example what i took let's say you want to make offer on that property for four hundred thousand. now the bank will send a professional appraiser to make sure the property value is four hundred thousand. so you cannot do that prior but at least to sense the value of that property your agent can help you give the data of the sales in that area for that type of property so get that data now you can compare okay if you're like few thousand give or take pretty much close to market value most likely you should be good but again as i said i'm not a hundred uh, percent uh, accountant or lawyer to tell you take risk or not but be careful do pre due diligence before you make cash offer of course look for the properties that doesn't have bidding wars so that you don't have to go into this you know risky situations but if you have to take as much as precautions so that you're net not taking crazy risk you're taking a calculated risk that way you can protect your ass so <laughs> that's that's all i want to say about this cash offers and uh, conditional offers and if you have ever got into some kind of issues with this cash offer conditional offer let me know i'm gonna hear your story what was your uh, expressions like when you heard about these things and let me know if you like this content if, if this is helpful for you hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments and see you in the later videos until then check out the other videos on the tags on the screen have a wonderful day see you